humanity is on a path to extinction. Deforestation and climate change pose a serious risk to not only us, but also our future kids and grandkids. Annually, almost 15 billion trees are cut down while only 1.9 billion trees are planted. This is a huge problem and one that shouldn't be ignored. As a matter of fact, according to Manga Bay, a website on environmental science, 46% of the trees in the world have been cut down in the past 12,000 years. This really shows how much humans have affected our only home. Therefore, we must solve it. Today, we introduce to you our new project, the SI Dandelion. Currently, tree planting is not very efficient because according to an article on Nature, a peer-reviewed science paper, over 90% of the trees planted in large reforestation public projects die after a few months of planting. Furthermore, the location, depth, and even the soil surrounding it can cause issues throughout its growth. Currently, automated tree planting is not being used commercially, so most organizations plant trees using manual labor. This is inefficient, costly, slow, and you will use a lot of labor to reach the goal. Moreover, to help trees repopulate the earth, we will need to plant more trees than we cut down, which is hard because the deforestation industry has been more automated than the tree planting one. Therefore, we have to consider automation for planting trees. One way to do this is to use drones to fly over an area and drop seeds. But there are many problems with this approach. First of all, drones have limited range and cannot cover large areas. Drones are also risky, fragile, and require frequent charging. Most importantly, drones are extremely expensive. One thing that crossed our minds at the problem was providing each tree with more support, but that's too time consuming and costly. Why not let nature do its job? Instead of focusing on making sure every tree survives, we can focus on mass planting trees so when snuff survives. But how will the seed spread? By hand? We came up with two ideas, mimicking the jewelweed and the dandelion. First, the jewelweed. This plant germinates by exploding. It explodes its pods, sending its seeds as far as possible. We found this plant interesting because its method would probably be more consistent than the dandelion as it doesn't depend on the weather to spread. However, its limited range and complexity of design led us to conclude that this may not be an efficient answer to our problem. Our second design involved mimicking the dandelion. Surprisingly, dandelions can actually fly for hundreds of kilometers before landing. We thought this would be a good solution for spreading seeds over a large area. So, we did lots of research on how dandelions work. We came across an interesting research paper from the University of Edinburgh where they discovered that the reason dandelions can fly so far is because of the intricate structure of fibers of the dandelion. This creates a special vortex in the air that helps it fly for a longer period of time. The same research also states that it is possible to mimic the fibers by using a specially etched porous silicon disc. We decided to base the design of the SI dandelion on this important finding and decided to use the silicon disc because mass producing fibers would be very difficult and just wouldn't work. However, a small issue is that the silicon discs aren't biodegradable. However, this type of disc doesn't pose any risk towards the environment if left in the forest. Since we need the disc, we decided to make the other parts of the SI dandelion as eco-friendly as possible, which is why we are going to use one millimeter thick rolled up recycled paper as the stem of it and linen fibers to connect the seeds to the disc. After spending weeks on designing, we have finally come up with the best possible design for the SI dandelion. Using the technology that we made for the SI dandelion, we think that we can revolutionize reforestation efforts and create a better environment that will help us and our future generations. Thank you.